to the air reservist who is qualified and in a position to devote slightly more time to the program than the average air reservist. We are offering a special type of training. This is known as a mobilization assignment. It consists of an assignment to a regular Air Force operation unit of an Air Force headquarters echelon or higher as an understudy of a full-time regular Air Force officer or enlisted man in a standard position in the unit's organization. In this position, the individual contributes part-time duty whenever he finds it convenient. He also is called for two weeks tour of active duty to be served in the headquarters to which he is assigned if he so desires. This frequent and close working with a specific group makes these air reservists most valuable. Should an emergency occur, we would be able to expand our staffs immediately with the addition of trained personnel already cognizant of our general operating procedures and methods. I have authorized the increase of my staff to the extent of 50% by appointment of selected Air Reserve officers and enlisted men to positions in my own headquarters. Reports from several of my division chiefs reveal the outstanding success that has been achieved during the past months since this program has been in operation. Not only have the division chiefs been impressed by the quality of the work performed and the frequency of visits by these mobilization assignees, but the air reservists themselves have been enthusiastic in their comments regarding their assignments, the duties assigned to them, and the cooperation displayed by their co-workers in the regular establishment. Lieutenant General George E. Stradmeyer, Commander, Continental Air Command, April 1947.